dang it. There's a couple of things that you need to be familiar with as far as the Jaguar V12 exhaust manifolds are concerned. First of all, you've got these machine services that made up to the cylinder head for the exhaust to come out of the exhaust ports and there's gaskets at these points right here and what happens over time is that this stuff gets really really rusty and unfortunately what some people do is they just take and scrape with a putty knife on this and when they get the loose stuff off that's good enough but the fact is that you need to go deeper than that what i've got here is a piece of hardwood plywood that has some coarse sandpaper on one side fine on the other and i just simply sand away on it and that should be enough for us to see yeah yeah, you can see that we've got some issues here. And I don't know if it's real obvious. Let me take the camera off the tripod here. We can see that there's some pretty significant pitting on that flange, this flange. This one isn't bad. Clearly, there's going to be an issue here with these two. I mean, that in particular, that, that, putting, that pitting runs all the way from the exhaust port to the outside of the, uh, of the gasket. So that is going to leak. Now, if you're doing this at home on your own engine, you're not going to have the option of going into the inventory and digging out another one. You've got to do something with that. And what you would do is you would get a good quality, high temperature exhaust system sealer and you would coat this area or probably more appropriately coat the gasket when you put before you put it on uh, same thing with this one right here it's pretty awful and it's really important that you do that because it's such a discouraging thing when you get the engine in the car and you're just really excited to go on the road trip and you got an exhaust leak and the same thing's true of coolant of oil, uh, even your windshield washer. There's a lot of potential leaks sources on this engine in every respect, and uh, you really need to avoid them, and now it's time to do it. The second aspect of the exhaust manifold you need to be paying attention to is the exhaust studs that attach the Y pipe to the cylinder head, and also the area in between here that the seal fits. So basically, this whole area right here. Now a really big deal usually is the exhaust stud because what will happen over time is they will, uh, they will get rusted and they will rust onto the nut. The original nuts actually have a helicoil on the inside. So if this is particularly bad, what will happen is that the nut will unwind around the, the helicoil and once you get the nut off, then you can take a pliers, grab a hold of the end of the helicoil, and just kind of wind it off of the stud. But if there's any question as to whether the threads are in good condition or not, you need to replace this, and you can pick this up at your normal auto parts store. And uh, uh, even if they're good, be sure that you take a wire brush and clean those, those threads off before you put them back in. Another thing is, as I mentioned, this area right here. And it looks like this has been sealing pretty well. If it's well, there's some gray. <clears throat> there's some gray around the outside there, so this may have been leaking. Um, it's important that you get this clean before you put the new seal in. What I do is actually sandblast the inside of it. And if there's any question at all as to whether there's pits in that or not, that's right you're going to put some exhaust sealer in there. Unless you've got access to another manifold, which I do, which I don't need in this case.